Seba features two brake mounts for the 2016 and 2017 skate lines, the short and the long mount. I'll show you how to mount the short brake first and then the long. If you're only interested in the long mount version, feel free to skip ahead. The short mount will fit any Seba skates that are 80mm wheel size or smaller. The kit includes the following parts. The short brake mount with pad, four standard washers, two of the two-piece axles, and two of the three-piece axles. Please note that these brake mounts will not work with the Seba Junior models and that these instructions are only for the stock versions of the skates so any changes to the frames of the boots may cause compatibility issues. The first step with any brake installation is to remove the standard skate axles and wheels. Bearings can stay in the wheels. Next, take the brake housing and place it on the outside of the frame lined up with the axle holes. Hold the housing, the wheel, in place and thread the axle through until you can secure the opposite end of the bolt. Start with the rear axle mount to prevent warping of the frame as you secure the bolts. Thread locker may be used to ensure that you get the best fit on the axle without having to over torque the bolts. The two piece axles have little bars that will lock into the frame when you secure it properly. You'll need these for both the front and the rear middle axles. Once mounted and secured, give the brake mount a little jiggle to ensure that it's tightly secured. Next comes the three-piece axles consisting of the two smaller securing screws and an axle that is threaded internally on both sides where the two small securing bolts will go. Now just as before, you're going to want to remove the wheels and the axles. Secure the wheels into the frames using the three-piece axles and don't forget the thread locker if you've chosen to use it. Once you secure the three-piece axles with the wheels in place, you can take the brake housing and align it on the outside of the frame. Match the rear and rear middle axles slash wheels. Once aligned, use the small securing screw. One on each side of this middle axle and secure those to the axle bolts with the brake mount between the axle and the bolt. Once again, apply thread locker if necessary. Do this for both three-piece axles. Now check the brake to make sure it's mounted securely and you're ready to go. The long mount brake currently only works with the GT90 and GT100 skates. It may work with future skates that are going to have long frames, 90mm wheels or larger. The kit includes the following parts. The long brake mount with pad, two of the double sided axles, and four of the securing mount bolts. Please note that this brake mount will not work with the Seba Junior models. Additionally, these instructions are only going to benefit stock skate models, so any adjustments other than the wheels and the bearings may cause compatibility issues. The first step is to remove the wheels and axles. Next, use the double threaded middle axle to secure the wheels in place. This is similar to the standard axles. Apply thread locker if necessary. Once the wheels and the new middle brake axles are secure, Take the brake mount and place it over the frame, aligning it with the rear and the rear middle axle holes. Take the securing bolts and screw them into each side of the axle, again using thread locker if necessary. After all three pieces of the axle are secure, test them to make sure that the brake is tightly fitted and continue to install the other axle. As with any installation, it's important to be sure and check that all of the parts are secure before you go out and skate. If you need any other instructions or details, check us out at inlinewarehouse.com.